Now that spring has arrived, many people are preparing to work in their gardens. But gardens can be difficult to maintain, what with temperatures rising and falling and sunshine not always a given. But there's one middle school in Wilson County that counts on a harvest no matter what the weather, as you'll see in tonight's school patrol. All right, three, two, one. It's the first day back following a long, drawn-out spring break. Most of you noticed when you got back that those vegetables just kind of blossomed and grew really large. Teacher Melody Timberlake. There is some new kale. Is trying to get class. And we have some new broccoli. Back on task. There are strawberries coming, so hopefully we'll be able to harvest them in um, late April, right around pretty much tea cap time. If you guys want to go up and look, you can. Here in West Wilson Middle School, there's two varieties of kale, and I just want you to see if you can be able to pick those up. This is not a Future Farmers of America class. There's a flower on it, so what do you think it needs? But it is an eighth grade science class. Pollination. And the topic of a lot of discussion. The Tower Garden is 21st technology at its finest. The Tower Garden. A way to teach kids about nutrition. So in the bottom of the Tower Garden is a pump and the pump is going to actually take the water all the way up the tower garden. This is the tower garden. And so it's going to cascade down and go over each one of those vegetables. A five foot tall plastic vertical system. The roots, they come out really easy, are what is going to be kind of absorbing the water. That allows more than 20 fruits and vegetables to be grown inside. This will take four weeks to get from this size to harvestable size. Using less water than an outside garden. It uses 90 percent less water and that's the big thing I talk about the kids is that it's kind of recirculating the water inside of there. Like it's easier and more efficient way to grow plants. Students watching the plants and vegetables grow since November. Having a garden like this, I guess, is just like having your own food. Are impressed. That's like a cucumber right there. It doesn't get overexposure from the sun and stuff so it won't dry out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And animals can't get to it. Among the fruits and veggies being grown on the tower are Swiss chard. Normally it's like a darker color. Broccoli, tomatoes. And this will be a new celery. And kale. Where's your kale? My mom eats it sometimes. It's gross. It depends on how you make it. It is on that back side though. The way I had it was not very good. Students say an indoor garden makes perfect sense. You buy products from other countries and stuff and it, you don't have the fresh like quality that you want in them. And watch it grow and it's just cool and you're going to get it in the long run, like get more food. Ms. Timberlake can be talking about photosynthesis or genes and she can just walk over to the tower garden and point it out. You can grow plants at any time of the year. I can kind of create my own grow times here, which is amazing. Because we were growing these in the wintertime. You put this in your salad? Very good. That's awesome. The idea of a tower garden originated with a middle school teacher from the Bronx in New York.